Okay, uh, engine electrolysis, how does it work? How do you clean your engine parts using water, washing powder, and electricity? As you can see, I've got two of my engine parts here, a valve cover and also the timing cover that have been wire brushed to get all of the flaky rust off and I would say most of the paint, I didn't really put a whole lot of effort into getting the paint off because some of the paint that's uh, remaining will be removed during the process. So basically, what do we got to do? We have a big tub that will fit the parts into here. Um, if you have a smaller tub, then you can put, of course, half of the part into the tub and then turn it around at some point in time and do the other half. We have a hose for water and we have washing soda. And depending on where you live, might be Arm & Hammer or some other brand. This is basically just washing soda. And why do we need washing soda? Well, you need something to conduct the electricity in the water. And there are basically two elements that are at least known to me. And that is uh, washing soda, of course, or salt. And I really don't like using salt on engine parts. I'm sure it would be fine for anything else. So uh, I use the washing soda and just dump in a nice amount. You don't want too much because if you have too much in there, then you'll, you'll create problems during the electrolysis portion. So once you get a nice amount of soda in there, you can just get your hose, add water, add water. We're trying to add water. As you can see, there's no fancy editing or whatnot here. There's no camera team, just me. The water faucet that's turned off and the hose. So now that we've got water flowing, go back and uh, fill up our tub full of water. Now we make sure you, you mix up the washing soda, get it to uh, dissolve into your tub. Yeah, just let it fill until you're, you feel that you have enough water in the tub to cover the parts that you're trying to uh, de -rest. So Now we have pretty much enough water to cover both of the parts, so we'll go ahead and shut it off and then I'll slide this tub into the top. Alright, tub's in the shop which I don't recommend by the way this is normally supposed to be done outside but because my space is limited I just run it for a couple hours and uh, let it go so this one and here's the timing cover and I'll set you up on the tripod and then I'll explain the rest of the process so we have both of the parts the parts that you want to remove rust from you need to be connected to the positive lead on your power supply whatever that might be it could be a battery charger or whatever whatever you have i have a 5 amp 12 volt power supply that i've had forever and that will be the source of my power for this project so first thing you want to do you want to connect your leads to your parts All right, this is the positive side. This is the negative side, excuse me, the negative side that will be connected to your power supply. So, connect everything up. And basically, because I have one power supply in two parts, I need to connect them together using the wires that I have. And I have a splice here that I can use to connect them together. So this is our negative side. Nay, I'm no, sorry. Uh, this is our. Okay, let's try this again. The positive side goes to the part which you're trying to de rust. So as you can see, I have two wires connected to two of my parts. And those are connected to the positive side of my power supply. 
the negative side will be connected to the part that is receiving the rust. So just a piece of scrap metal, whatever you might have. Uh, in my opinion, um, sheet metal works pretty good as long as it's clean. Um, you can use whatever, but you can use whatever have. It just needs to be something that can rust, basically a ferrous metal that can rust. So my neighbor always has some sort of scrap metal that he has laying around. So he has, he's, he's a, a machine guy. He's got these old files that are dull, I, I would think. So that would be the receiving end. So we put that into the water as well with the negative clamp connect to that. So once we have both parts in the water and the connections done, we can turn on the power supply. And if we wait a little bit, we might be able to see some bubbling going on as things start happening. So we'll give it a second or three and uh, see what happens. Now it takes about a minute, depending on what you have in there and the temperature of your water and whatnot. It's cold here, so um, the water is really cold from the from the hose. But I don't necessarily need warm water to do this. This works just fine. And like I said, this is I use this to take off most of the rust. Um, I'm sure you can leave it in forever or use some sort of sort of solvent to uh, to help speed up the process. Uh, I think uh, evapor rust, for example, is a good a good uh, solvent that, that takes off all of the rust off of the parts just by tanking them but this seems to work just fine for me and saves me from hours of sanding and grinding and wire brushing and whatnot so uh, i'll let this get going then i'll get back with you so after a few minutes of sitting in the tank well maybe it's one minute you can see the bubbling down there on that old file and as the process uh, continues, you'll get more bubbling and uh, yeah, it's basically pulling the rust off of the old parts onto this file. So after a few hours, you'll have big clumps of uh, rust attached to the file. And basically that's everything that it pulled off to the parts in the tank. So uh, I can show you some other parts that I took off or I took out of the tank before I changed the water and these are the, the other valve cover that was in there. And there's still some rust on here, but I haven't brushed it or anything. I just kind of rinsed it off. Um, and you'll see that video in just a second. But uh, basically all the, most of the crud is off. This was all like really rusty and whatever. And now you can see it's silver metal. And only the like the really the crusty parts need to be brushed off and whatnot. But all in all, most of it's off. And I have another process that I can use to get the rest of it off once I've uh, gotten them brushed and dried off. So I'll get back to you in just a second. All right, we're back again. And for the next part of this process, I like to use my parts washer to kind of capture the crud. I just have a nylon brush that I'm using to, to brush them. And a lot of the remaining paint is coming off with the brush. But I'm not worried about getting all of the paint off. I just want the rust off so that when I paint my parts, that they look nice. And of course, that the paint adheres to the parts, so. Of course, you can always, if you have remaining paint on the parts, then you can go crazy and you can sand and do whatever you need to do to get the parts off, the, the, the paint off. And also this converted rust. Um, for the meantime, I'm just going to wipe these off because I have another process to show. All right, so now I have a new process that I've been trying out on some of these metal parts. I used it on the engine block and it turned out pretty good. What we have here is phosphoric acid. And phosphoric acid is one of the ingredients in Coca-Cola, for example. 
So basically, you spray it on with a spray bottle. Nice and generous. And it's not that dangerous and it doesn't really smell that bad. Of course it stinks because it's acid, you know, but it's not that bad. Spray it on and let it sit. And basically the instructions say that once you've uh, let it sit for a while, that it converts the rust, or it eats the rust so that you can wipe it off, and converts it to a point where you can continue working on the parts with paint and primer and whatnot. So we'll let this sit for a few minutes till it turns white and then we'll get back to you. So after about five minutes of spraying this onto the um, parts, you can see that the, the spray is starting to turn white, which is basically the phosphoric acid converting the rust into, uh, I think it's phosphor oxide is the name of it. I'm not a chemist, so, you know, I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but uh, this does seem to remove the rust very well because I put it to my block, which turned out really nice. So uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes and then we'll try to wipe some of the rust off. So it's been about 15 minutes now, and as you can see, the Rust has turned, for the most part, white, and so you can just wipe it off. Anything that's left over is converted rust, and you can basically just sand it and prime it from there. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Same thing on the valve cover. All that's converted rust, all that black stuff, it's either from the electrolysis or from the phosphoric acid. So basically just sand it smooth, primer it, and paint it. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, please click like and subscribe if you like to uh, see more videos from me and uh, my restoration process on this 69 Charger. Thanks. Bye-bye.